haven't been able to have a decent breakfast all week. Nobody wants to eat at 6 o'clock in the morning, so I'm serving it up right this morning. Okay, I don't know what Tux was thinking, but he has put his big body, my tuxedo cat, has put his big body underneath the big saucer water bowl. So I'm wondering when we go out there, what's going to happen when he goes to try to stand up and come see me for some attention. So let's check this out. Tuxie! Hey, Tuxie! Hi! 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 Oh, you managed to get yourself out from underneath there without getting water on you. That's good, buddy. That's good. Hi, Tux. Oh, yeah. Hi, it's Don and it's Tesla time. So it's the weekend, first week of school. So uh, Mary and I, we don't get to talk about what's in the paper much uh, during the week because uh, that time of the morning, we have too many things going on, school mornings, uh, let's go. But so here's the weekend, Saturday morning. There was an interesting article in today's News and Observer about smart devices could be spying on the owners too busy to care. Hey Alexa, tell my car to honk the horn. Okay. Huh, could this article apply to us? Could smart devices really be listening? Hmm. Hey Alexa, turn on master bedroom light. Okay. Hey Alexa, turn on dim lamp. Okay. Hey Alexa, tell a back to school joke. Why was the math teacher such a good dancer? I don't know. She had algorithm. Algorithm. Oh, algorithm. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, set an alarm for 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Alarm set for 10 a.m. tomorrow. Alexa, search YouTube for Tesla Ruby. Here's what I found from YouTube. Alexa, play number one. All right. Alexa, pause. Oh, Alexa. Set the thermostat to 76. Setting thermostat AC to 76. Go. Okay, Google, turn off the end lamp. You got it, turning off the den lamp. So, it appears that we certainly qualify as one of those families that are being listened in on if such things are true. And why? Because we're too busy to care. However, I have to say we are very happy to support organizations that are trying to uh, protect our privacy. Uh, you know, having a Roomba vacuum cleaner would be nice, but I don't know if I'd like it sending our house dimensions to the cloud. But James Cook has one now, or a similar vacuum cleaner, and I'm thinking I might want one of those for Christmas, Donnie. Well, that's probably because you do the vacuuming, and I read the paper. Exactly. But we don't mean to make light of this. Yeah, all humor aside, obviously we are concerned about our private information and what gets shared out there. The article was specifically talking about... Um, when people install apps on their phone that they just randomly allow access to their contacts, to their photos, to their other personal information and that it's possible that folks don't understand the implications of pressing the allow button. I remember last year there was a big fuss about Google and Pokemon Go access that apparently for a few days people thought we had granted our entire life to Google and Niantic in order to play Pokemon Go and it was really an accident in programming and Google came out, Niantic came out right away and they fixed it. I personally stayed calm and did not remove the app from my phone during the 
fiasco and upset, but um, some folks did get concerned and do that. Um, obviously, we think it's a good idea that folks really lock down their Wi-Fi router as best as they can. Don certainly understands all the ins and outs of the protocols and how to, you know, change the admin password to something very hard to break and that kind of thing. That's the first place you could start out in your home with protecting um, access to your Wi-Fi. And I'd say I do agree that the, what the paper also pointed out is that people should be told ahead of time before you install the app. You know, on the packaging it should say you're going to grant, if to use this app you will have to grant this access, that access, and that access. So before you install it, before you do anything, go on and disclose ahead of time exactly what of privacy related uh, terms and conditions are. So people, before they buy the app or the product, uh, because you know by the time you've bought that router or that uh, gaming device and you take it home and you've hooked it up to whatever you've hooked it up to and then all of a sudden you get down to uh, the uh, user license agreement and then it gets down there too and says oh by the way well you know that's really the wrong time you should have told me in the store if you buy this thing we're going to steal your information and we're going to put it all over the internet and you know what I probably wouldn't buy it right and I have installed a lot of photo editing apps on my iPhone and of course I realize that those editing apps can't really do stuff with my photos if I don't allow access to my photo and video library on my phone so it's sort of understanding what access is reasonable to ask for or not but yeah I'd like to know before I pay the five dollars for the app what authority it's going to ask me for. Most of the companies out there, the bigger one comp name companies I install, you know, they're probably okay, but maybe some of the lesser known because anybody can get an app up on the uh, I iPhone app store. Uh, maybe not, maybe not so much. So anyway, something to think about, you know, use passwords, use good passwords. Think about before you click that, accept. there could be some consequences. Yeah, and I want to add one more thing. Um, I suspect the people that watch our videos that either own a Tesla or want to own a Tesla are probably fairly geeky families and uh, have already granted a lot of permissions and sort of are the group of people that understand what's going on and have made an informed decision. So I'm not sure our audience so much as those that this article was aimed at, but you know, if you're driving a Tesla, uh, we know where your, you know, Tesla knows where your Tesla is. I mean, That's there's, right. there's, you have given up some uh, privacy just in the fact that you've gotten in a Tesla, and it's really not new to Tesla because, uh, you know, Don's GMC was uh, equipped with OnStar. Yep. If you go missing, uh, the the police department's going to pull up that information. So. I think a lot of these privacy things, your stuff's out there. It's just a matter of A, who would know how to look at it, B, why would somebody look at it, and C, of all of that information that's out there, why would somebody target you? At least that's what I always feel like. Yeah, they know stuff about me, but my stuff is out there with millions of other people's worth of stuff. Why would they look at me? Right. The tree in the forest, you know, that's, that's helpful. But, uh, you know, I'm glad that, um, as we said earlier, organizations are out there watching and helping. And I would say please continue to support those types of organizations. Uh, they really are, you know, uh, watching. Uh, of course, you know, we all should be diligent. We should do our part. And the one small thing you can do is at least consider supporting those types of organizations. And in the video description, I will put a link to the specific organization that Don has looked into and has uh, supported so that you could consider it. Hey, buddy. Hey, Mom. You ready to go to town? Uh-huh. All right, let's go have a little bit of fun. So a quick follow-up to yesterday's discussion about the lid on the center console. Um, Don took a look at it and he said he thinks all that's going on is that maybe when we press down on it we're being so careful with it that we're not 
giving it a gentle tap with the palm of our hand that we should push down just a smidge more than we are. He found it to be saying latched well for him. So uh, I'm going to go with that. Me driving around today. I'll double check to make sure it doesn't pop up while I'm driving around since he was the last one to push down on it. But I think we're okay. He didn't seem to think there were any issues with it. So one of the YouTubers that Don and I regularly watch is Zach Reddick. He's down in uh, Louisiana. He um, had a video earlier this week that talked about a website that was good for Teslas. One of my main beefs is that uh, I would really like to see a radar, a weather radar show up on the big screen. And if I try to go to our local news station, WRAL, and get to their Doppler weather page, it just won't load. And I get it that Tesla's, you know, paying for the bandwidth and that, um, you know, things like that could take a lot of, uh, could take up a lot of bandwidth. So they don't, either they're either they're not allowed or they just load so slow um at any point he found a website qtes.la that he says is really good for using while inside the tesla and it has a radar as part of it so i'm going to give it a try for the first time inside a ruby uh full disclaimer i am still sitting in the driveway so um it's possible i'm picking up the wi-fi or i might be picking up um the uh you know mobile i'm not sure at this point i've already entered in the web address so let's see if it loads so that's pretty good let's see about the radar because i am interested we're supposed to get rain today and i'd really like to know if it's uh yes you may use my current location speaking of privacy Everybody else knows where my Tesla is. This app might as well know too. Let's see. There's the radar. Johnny's going to make it bigger for me. So I'm pretty impressed. I, I, it's the first time I tried it here with you guys. It pulled up a radar with some, uh, you know, um, gathered data for over several radar sources and giving me the bigger picture. That's really great. Now I'm curious if I can pinch it or move it. So yeah, I can zoom in a little bit if I want to, I guess. Um, so yeah, so but anyway, that's pretty That's pretty cool. Um, I'm liking it. I think I'll be using that whenever I want to see if there's rain headed in our direction. Way cool. You'll notice there was, let me see if I hit the home screen up here. Uh, there were some other options on here, the forecast, radar, plug share, ways, and the Tesla stock price, yeah. That's cool. But the, the speed is pretty good. So I tell you what, I'll give this a try um, again in a little while. Johnny and I are going to run some errands and we'll see um, how it works when we're out and about away from the house. So I can always count on Johnny to uh, go to town with me on the weekends, right Johnny? Right. Yeah, we have a lot of fun going out together. And even though he's an official teenager now, he still can always find a little bit of time to go and do stuff with his mom. Because really, I could go by myself, or Donnie would go with me if I asked him to. But um, I like having Johnny's company for these kinds of outings. It's good. So we're going to go get our daily Pokemon. We're going to go to Walmart and pick up a red box, uh, The Circle with Tom Hanks, for me and Don to watch tonight. We're both big uh, Tom Hanks fans, so we try to watch all of his stuff. And uh, we're probably going to stop by Guardian Angel and then, uh, I think, back home. So just, you know, out and about for a couple hours and then back to the house. Um, it's 84 degrees out there, but it's really sticky today. It must it feels like 90 to me. It's, it's not comfortable to be out and about doing outside activities too much. So a little bit of in-the-air conditioning around town fun sounds like a good idea to me. So we found this really cool t-shirt that has the DeLorean from Back to the Future on it. It's pretty cool. Looks like a falcon wing door to me. The only Corel I've seen today, but there's only two dinner and two salad plates, and it's not my favorite pattern ever. I'll pass today.
so out and about the uh, QTES.LA website radar is showing up just fine no problems it came up quick and I'm not on any Wi-Fi for sure I am on uh, LTE service here at PetSmart they always have the coolest dog toys here to pick up my movie at the red box and the screens blank calling customer support